Now, former Rio Arriba County Sheriff Tommy Rodella was recently sentenced to 10 years in federal prison or prison, excuse me, for a road rage case. His wife, Democratic Representative Debbie Rodella, missed the opening day of the session to attend her husband's sentencing. And Dan, um, I, I guess I got a question about Ms. Rodella and her effectiveness in office. I mean, Representative Rodella. Represent, thank you. Is there any impact on her with this? Well, will she get a fair shake in the legislature? Oh, she'll, get a, she'll get a fair shake, but okay. it's her husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course there's an impact on her. She's got two children. Yeah. She's got a husband going to federal prison. I mean, I, you know, I haven't been there yet, and so mm -hmm. I, you know, I hope never to go there. <laughs> right. Um, you know, but I haven't had Wouldn't a family member. Wouldn't be the member. first in this state. That's right. So, I mean, to say is it going to mm -hmm. impact her, I mean, of course it's yeah. going to impact her. Yeah. Her and her husband were close. Yeah. Um, Tommy used to come up to the legislature all the time, um, you know, Tommy apparently made some mistakes, shouldn't have done what he did, and he's paying the ultimate price. Yeah. I, I, the one thing I will say about the legislature, mm -hmm. Republican, Democrat, you know, that stuff is a, and obviously now more than ever, there's a real partisan divide, but it's a small club. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when people, when something happens to you or your family, that 112 people seem to rally around you and say, what do we do? Because they understand, they, they get it. You know, it's, a, it's the most exclusive club you could probably be in is, you know, these people, 70 members in the house. Sure. I don't, I don't think that it's gonna affect her negatively mm -hmm. from that aspect. I think that she's, you know, I think she deserves, you know, she wasn't part of this mm -hmm. and uh, her mm -hmm. and her family, they need our, our thoughts and prayers. There you go. Sophie, your thought on this? I mean, no, 10 I, years is a stiff sentence. A There's appeal is, coming, but is still. It's a very stiff sentence. Mm -hmm. I think that- um, And those aren't nice places, Many right? No, from what I are. gather, it's not the best. Um, <laughs> many people, I think we're surprised by the the length of that sentence. Yeah. Um, what's interesting, though, to note is that it's not over. In that um, there's now an investigation that's been launched into the scholarship funds that um, Rodella was collecting when he was a judge, and uh, it will be interesting to see if more happens along that's those right. lines. To the extent that she has to deal with those things, right. um, I think that will be a distraction for her. Mm -hmm. And um, those are serious charges happens, still yet yeah. to be looked at. So yeah, yeah absolutely, it's Rachel. Representative Rodella now has to face the court of public opinion, which is probably more unpredictable and more variables than anything her husband right. faced in court right. even. Interesting, yeah. I was surprised uh, originally with mm -hmm. the conviction that they came back so quickly, that the, you know, that, that the judgment came point. back so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but but as, Sof as Sophie said, you know, this thing's still not over because of the amount of money that mm -hmm. was collected, say, w w people would be get, get pulled over in Reba County saying, well, you, uh, we can, well, we'll let you uh, skip out of this speeding ticket right. if you contribute money to yeah. this. You know, some, people some, tend not something to, like to remember, that. though, also, yeah. Gene, about this mm -hmm. and talk about mm -hmm. that, and I'd, I'd yeah. like to, to ask Sophie this, mm -hmm. is, you know, he had a pretty good attorney the first time, Gorntz, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, who's a pretty well-known, very time. successful yeah. attorney. That's right. And I think at the end, Gorntz said, I'm done, I'm out, I'm finished, and so now this is moving, I think, with another attorney. So, mm -hmm. I mean, to come back so quickly with that decision, with a pretty high-powered attorney. I mean, this was not this attorney's first rodeo mm -hmm. is really, that's, right. that's to me, was also kind of, you know, maybe symptomatic of what's coming down the road. Sure. Too. Because I, you would think that Gorntz would have been able to, you know, at least slow this down a little bit. I don't, that's the point. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, thank you for applying sort of the God status to attorneys. I appreciate that. But, <laughs> but, um, but Gorntz, I've learned well. Gorntz is not a God. None of, none of us are gods. And, and you deal with the client in this case, the defendant, the law, and the facts that you have, and um, there can be many reasons to exit it, exit go. a case. I, I, don't, I don't know that I would. Of most importance to our week here, uh, certainly, Patriots, Seahawks, don't care. One of the three. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Patriots. Patriots, and don't care. <laughs> a two for one. Thank you all. See you next week.